Hello everyone, another video in the series of History of Magic the Gathering. If you have missed some of the videos of the series, I'm going to leave in the description below a link to the all previously released videos. Today, today I'm going to cover a set that made history for Magic the Gathering. It made history not in a positive way but in a negative way. Today I'm going to talk about Chronicles. Chronicles was the 12th Magic the Gathering set. It was released in July 1995 and it was the first set to have only reprints. The set had 116 cards, 40 common, 30 uncommon, and 46 rares, and they were all reprints of previously released expansion set. The cards, all the cards in the set were from Arabian Nights, Antiquities, Legends, and the Dark. The set had 14 cards from Arabian Nights, 21 from Antiquities, 71 from Legends, and 19 from the Dark. The set was printed, the print run of the set was around 180 million cards, and the release of this set was targeted, targeting players that because of the scarcity of the four expansion sets didn't own any powerful cards from those sets. The booster the booster contained 12 cards it had 9 common and 3 uncommon. As you know at this stage the rare cards, the rare type didn't exist in those expansion sets and the rare cards are the U1 which means the uncommon that have been printed less. That's why we say that it had 46 rare cards. The set had an expansion symbol which was a globe with a flag and the word Chronicles and as you may know this particular release had a lot of negative impact and negative comments from store owners, investors and collectors. Because the set was all reprints a lot of collectors, investors, speculators and store owners that have bought expensive cards from Arabian Nights, Antiquities, Legends and The Dark saw their cards plummeting and the price of their investment going down. Thus a lot of players have threatened Mag Wizard of the Coast leaving the game and selling all their cards so that they will ruin their collection. Chronicles led to Wizard of the Coast to introduce the reserve list and I will be doing a different video about the, the reserve list in History of Magic the Gathering. The reserve list was a guarantee by Wizard of the Coast that cards on the list will be never reprinted. Some notable things about Chronicles. An important aspect is that even though Chronicles had the expansion symbol, all cards printed had the same expansion symbol of the original set. Therefore, like the most famous card from Chronicles is Blood, Blood Moon, Blood Moon had the crescent moon symbol which denotes that it was 
from the dark set but the difference between a chronicles and the dark card was the border we had the first white border cards therefore chronicles cards have a white border while the original had a black border as you can see the difference between the two cards white border card chronicles black border card the dark in this case the moon black moon let's see again white border and black border other notable cards in the set city of brass from Arabian night Ashnot's altar from antiquities Concordant crossroads from legends Nicole Boalas the elder dragon from legends a curiosity about this set was in the card wall of shadows wall of shadows as you can see the chronicles reprint of wall of shadows in this case the white border card had the symbol of antiquities but if you see the original card it had from the legends yes wall of shadows is from the set the legends but in chronicles it was reprinted with the antiquities symbol this was a mistake a print mistake from wizard of the coast in this set but it's a very nice curiosity about chronicles legends and antiquities as i said chronicles was the first reprint set it generated a lot of negative impact on certain collectors which led wizard of the coast to introduce the reserved list nowadays we have mass reprints in masters series from wizard of the coast which to, to my opinion it will lead to eventually a same reaction by collectors investors and speculations about the cards i think that eventually master series will get less and less expansion sets i thank you for watching this video please leave a like to this video and leave a comment below what you think about reprints of cards in magic the gathering subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos about magic the gathering thank you very much